problem. We're actually all from Utah and we're here as a school trip. For me, why it's important that like Roe v. Wade stays where it's at is its options. Like it's the choice to be able to make that and to take that away from someone doesn't feel right. I believe that a child in the womb is fully human just like any of us and nothing justifies um, the brutal killing of, of them. We're the teachers of this group from Utah. Oh. When we saw this, we kind of were hoping we could be part of it in some small way. Um, what's important to us is for all people to have their own opinions and beliefs and morals. And some of the kids were a little nervous thinking there might be friction or fights or yeah. violence or things. And we just said, you know what? Be curious. Approach things with questions and from a perspective of trying to understand. You don't have to agree but understand. Obviously, I'm not here to change your guys' mind. That's not the point of a conversation. No. But just knowing, like, the ideal future and how we really make that happen. I think even like regardless of what happens with Roe v. Wade, all those things are still important to still yeah, give support and provide and I think if we focused on that, everything would go so much smoother and we would all get along so much better. Yeah. Like, we, would. we love doing this. In fact, <laughs> we go on college campuses all the time and we, we table, we set up tables because um, we want to facilitate these conversations. Ask questions, find out information on both sides because that's what's really going to make the difference is information and knowledge is power. So the more knowledge you have, and I always tell them that, when you learn something and when you accept somebody for what they believe, we don't have to make other people believe like we do. We can, that's what makes the United States awesome, is that we all have differences. And so, we, but we can talk to each other.